guys, this is Jerrica. So basically what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I get my brows filled in. It is requested. Um, my, my video before this was showing you guys how I, um, you know, how I basically get my perfect brows at home, how I like shape them, and how I get the hairs away and things like that. So if you wanna watch that video, that will be linked below. But if you're here because you've just watched that video and you wanna see now how to fill in your brows, Okay, there's a mosquito in here. What the heck? Hold on, you guys. I gotta kill this mosquito, like, right now. Okay, so I didn't find the mosquito. All of a sudden, it left. Um, I honestly don't know how these bugs are getting in here, like the mosquitoes. It's so annoying. I honestly cannot wait to move out of this apartment. Anyway, so since my brows, like I told you guys um, before, that my brows are uneven, so I have to overcompensate on one and undercompensate on the other. And I normally use the NYX eyebrow gel, especially if I want to go somewhere, maybe if I need waterproof brows or I'm going to be outside where I know I'm going to be sweating. But um, I use, most for everyday brows, I use my NYX eyebrow pencils, but I just got this in the Kiss Top Brow, which is an exact dupe to the NYX eyebrow pencils. They're the same price, so it really doesn't matter which one you get, but they're both really good. So I use both. This one's black, these are brown or espresso. So I use both to fill in my brows. I use black on the bottom to make it a more sharper line and I use brown to make the outline on the top because I don't want it to be super harsh. So I'm going to start with my my pencil. This is the Kiss Top Brow Pencil. The color on here is called Granite which is their black. Um, so I'm going to start with this brow. I always start with this brow because this is the perfect brow. It, get, it never gives me any problems. So um, yeah, let me just try to get my mirror as close as possible. I apologize if this, if this video is long, but it'll be helpful, especially if you have the same eyebrow problems that I have. So I'm going to start, let me try and zoom, get closer, and I'm going to outline the bottom of the brow with super light strokes. You don't want to do this like a marker. So you're going to outline the bottom and just keep on bringing it across. And just keep doing it till you actually can see a line. And then you're going to make your arch, or just follow your arch. And I find it easier if I turn my head along while I do this. And then now you have the bottom part of your brow. So um, then I'm going to do the same. Now, now this is what I did. Like, it's going to seem extremely weird. Since my brows are uneven, I have to stop doing this brow and now do this brow just to make sure they're going to be even. If I don't, they will not be even and it'll be a disaster. I'm telling you, I have to do it this way. So now I'm going to start on the other brow and you want to try to connect them almost like make sure they're even. I'm going to do the same on this brow. You can make it come out a little bit longer in the front because my hairs are a great position on this eyebrow but they stop a little bit short on this eyebrow. Don't know why, that's just how they grow. So now I'm gonna just do the same thing. You can bring it out longer because you're, out, you're gonna just be buffing that away anyways. And just outline the bottom. You can bring that out as far as you want because you're gonna be, you can buff all that away anyway so it doesn't really matter about the tail. You know, all that can be fixed. So now you have the bottom lines drawn. So that's all I'm gonna use the black pencil for for now. Now I'm gonna to go to my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso and outline the top. And to do that, I'm just going to stay as close to my hair as natural as possible on this brow because this, I'm trying to model this brow after this brow because this is the, the brow that I love most. So I want them to be as even as possible, I guess you could say. So I have to do this brow first. If I did this brow first, then this one will look crazy. So now I'm gonna just outline this with the brown, and I'm using brown because I don't want it to be harsh. So I'm just gonna just follow along my hairline. And I don't really, I have to create an arch on my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna follow along the hairline and just go in a straight line. And then when I get out here, just continue the straight line as if hair was there. And then bring it down. And just turn, it'll be easy if you turn your head and do it. Bring it down. Continue with the light strokes. So I'm gonna do the same on the other brow and try to connect this line. Not connect it, but try and eyeball it to be as even as possible. Cause like I said, my hairs don't come out all the way on this brow, so I have to 
overcompensate on this brow to get it to be even. And I keep this my pinky, my pinky on the, uh, my face because it gives me like a range of motion. I don't know if anybody else does that, but it really helps. And now you're ready to fill in. So for the back of my eyebrows, I go back to my black pencil and I fill in to maybe here on both brows with the black. And then I use the brown in the front. So you'll see me do that now. Okay, so I got the back of my brows filled in with the black, and you don't want to push down extremely hard, um, but you just you know fill it back in with the black, bring it out as much as you want, things like that. And now I'm going to switch back to my NYX brow pencil, and this is an espresso again, and fill in the front. And no one's going to know you use two different pencils because they just blend together flawlessly. And you can leave the very front of it just a little bit empty because you're gonna uh, wipe that away anyway with your brow comb, I guess you can call it. But you're just gonna bring it forward like that. Um, you're gonna use the little comb side of your brush, your pencil, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna use this side and you can, uh, I, I go up, I go sideways, and whatever you can just to get the, you don't want it to be boxy in the front, so you're just gonna, uh, comb it up comb it up and away is what I like to call it and you can also comb it towards the rest of your hair it's just make sure you don't have a box in the front of your brows because I like the little some people said they don't like the gradient brows I do if you don't like gradient brows you don't have to do this if you want the box in front of your brows by all means do whatever you want to do who cares what people say I don't like the box so I'm not gonna do the box Alright, so what I was using before to clean up my brows was the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. But I realized that this, it, it doesn't really do a good job of hiding hairs. Even though I just did my eyebrows, if they weren't done, you would need a high definition, thick concealer. And I recommend the LA Girl Pro Concealers. Especially if you're, it, oh, it's upside down. Especially if you're just starting, I would definitely recommend these concealers. They, they, can, com they can compare to any of the MAC concealers, even though I think MAC is better. You know, you just really can't go wrong with concealers that are this good of a quality for $2.99. Like, it's amazing. And what I use to sculpt out my brows is just a little L flat top brush. Um, this is really great for lining under your brows to get the concealer. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to zoom in a, bit, a little bit for you guys. And actually, ooh, this looks extremely red on camera. It's, my uh, eyebrows are really sensitive, so I swear to you it doesn't hurt, but using this comb to comb this out, I guess, has it looking red. But, oh well, I'm fine. So I squeeze a little bit out. I hate the way this comes out, though. It's really weird. But I get some on my brush. Okay, my mom is calling me. Okay, she's not calling me. Alright, so I'm getting a little bit on my brush, dab it on my little piece of toilet paper that I have here, or napkin, whatever you use, and just start creating a line. Okay, sorry about that. My mom called and of course I have to answer. So, you're just going to put some on your brush like this. And continue to sculpt out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright. I am sick, by the way. I am getting better. But you're just going to continue to sculpt out like this. Try to make them as best as possible. And bring it over. I like to put a lot of concealer right where the arch is. And then I turn my head again. And bring it on down this way. And then you'll bring the concealer down. And try to, you don't want to, you know, I mean you could bring it across if you absolutely need it. Especially if you're just beginning. But you're going to try and eyeball it and keep it as even as possible. And you're going to do the same thing over here. And if you notice that one eyebrow is off. That's what makes this LA Girl Pro Concealer so good because it's super thick so you can totally create a whole new brow. Like this will go over the color that black and brown so easy. So like I need to create an arch, a better arch so I can just go up into the eyebrow just a little bit and 
then keep going and it'll totally erase that away and that's what I like most about this concealer because my Maybelline concealer it wouldn't really cover that and then it'll start looking gray and I just ain't got time for that so you'll just go over it again or you can use you know just a little fluffy brush and just you know buff the rest away which I like this because it's at an angle so it allows me to get up in here this is the same brush that I use to set concealer under my brows um, if I know I'm going to be going out the house I like to set my concealer that I just wiped or just buffed into my skin I like to set it just so it doesn't get oily because I do get oily when I wear makeup and um, if your tail is messed up or if your arch is messed up you can always go back in and correct it that's what's so great about this like you can just make them however you want them to be and gets a little bit more concealer you don't have to really squeeze any more out because there's plenty on the brush on your concealer and you can just outline the top and I have to do the same or my eyebrows will uneven themselves <laughs> sounds weird but I swear it happens so I'll just draw a little line there and draw a little line here just to make sure that they're going to be even. Alright, once you have everything buffed away to your liking, uh, like I said, if you're going to put on foundation, you really don't have to get this extremely perfect. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to be seen anyway. Then you're basically done. Now you can just do any type of cleaning up that you need to do. If you need to fix anything in your brow, you can. You can just go back over with your pencil, draw on your tail, do things like that, fix your arch, whatever you need to do. Now, uh, what I would normally do, like I said, if I was going out, I will get this little fluffy brush again. I got my airspun powder. It's just some Walmart. You can get it at Walmart or Target. I will be doing a video on this on setting it under your eye versus the Sasha Buttercup because I've never really tried to compare the two. So I will be doing that. But I just dip my brush in here and set my brows with this just to make sure the concealer doesn't get shiny at any point. And I set around my brows too. Um, if you're not going to use any foundation, you can set up on top, but if you are, then you just wait till you set your makeup anyway. But that's pretty much it, how I get my perfect brows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it was in depth and it really helped you understand how to do it. Because I have a lot of people asking me all the time how I get my brows the way I do. So if you guys like this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.